Greetings and salutations folks and welcome once again as always to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pot. You join me today in Yorkshire where currently I'm on the wrong side of the Pennines for me hot potters, me being a Lancashire lad. But I've come here today to visit some relatives. As many of you know, Mrs H is from Yorkshire so we're here visiting in-laws today. And whilst I was here, I thought I'd come and visit the grave of a very famous actor from when I was growing up watching television as a young Mr H. Now, that actor's name is Paul Shane, who starred as Ted Bovis in the hit TV comedy for the BBC, Heidi High, which ran from 1980 through to 1988. Now, Paul Shane sadly passed away in 2013, aged 72 years, and he was laid to rest here in his hometown of Rotherham and he's laid to rest in East Herringthorpe Cemetery which is where I'm currently walking through and I'm going to try and locate his grave for you. Now originally when he was first laid to rest here it wasn't known where he was buried however over the past couple of months people have discovered his grave and other YouTubers have mentioned the cemetery that he's been laid to rest in which is why I have no issues mentioning it here today. I have had a bit of stick on the previous video that I did of a famous grave, that of Freddie Stars, where I wouldn't give out the location of the cemetery. The reason for that was Freddie's family didn't want people to know where he was buried. And it's similar with Paul Shane, but as I say, other people have mentioned it, so I don't see the harm in me doing it here today. Now, Paul Shane's real name is George Frederick Spate, and he changed his name to Paul Shane so that he could pursue acting. And he literally fell into acting by accident. And I'll explain a little bit more about that later on in this video. But for now, what we're going to do, we're going to make our way to the cemetery gates here at East Herringthorpe Cemetery. And we're going to walk through the cemetery to his grave. And the reason I'm doing that is so that anybody who decides to follow in my footsteps, so to speak, you can find it pretty easy. Because it is quite a large cemetery and I have spent a bit of time walking around this cemetery trying to locate it despite the excellent videos that have already been done on Paul Shane's grave. Anyway, without further ado, let's make our way to the cemetery gates and we'll walk through the cemetery to the grave of Paul Shane. So once you come through the gates though, past the cemeteries and crematorium office and make your way up this hill here. As you make your way up, Look for this path here, the first one on your right. And make your way through the graves. And what you're looking for in the distance, I don't know if you can just make it out through the trees there. You're making your way for that little yard over there and that building. And that's where they keep all the diggers and all the tools to maintain this cemetery and it is very well kept this cemetery I haven't seen a piece of litter or anything like that whilst I've been walking through these grounds there we go that gives you a better view of that building where they store all the maintenance equipment and if you follow that little footpath It'll then bring you back onto the main path. And what you're looking for as you make your way towards this maintenance yard is that bench there. Because Paul Shane's grave, if you stand behind this bench, is that one there behind the white headstone, the Joyce Bennett headstone. It's that heart shaped one there. So we'll continue along here and make our way around because I don't like walking on graves. So make your way to the gates. Pass this bench here. Up the middle of the graves and George Frederick Spade, aka Paul Shane's grave is just here. So Potters, here is the previously unknown grave of RDI actor Paul Shane. 
Now, before I go any further, I'd just like to apologise for the wind, as Paul's grave is in an exposed area of this cemetery here in Rotherham, but hopefully it won't spoil your enjoyment of the video too much. Born on the 19th of June, 1940, in, and I hope I've pronounced this correctly, Thryber, near Rotherham, as George Frederick Spate, Paul literally fell into the world of entertainment by accident, after slipping on a bar of soap in the pithead baths of the colliery that he worked at as a miner in 1967 which eventually forced him out of the industry. Now Paul Shane, or Shaney as he liked to be known, is probably best known to you for starring in the BBC hit comedy Heidi High in the 1980s as Ted Bovis. And whilst Paul went on to star in other sitcoms afterwards such as You Rang My Lord and Oh Dr Beechin, these never really captured the public's imagination in the same way that Heidi High had. And the success of RDI was partly down to how brilliantly Paul played the part of Ted Bovis in the series and made him so relatable. Also, Jimmy Perry, who co-wrote RDI, had a knack for writing lines for characters that made it so the actor playing them was just basically playing themselves. And so good was Jimmy Perry at doing this that it's now very easy to imagine Paul Shane in another life as a camp host at a 1950s seaside holiday camp somewhere. Ted Bovis is also one of those rare television characters that due to being so relatable with the audience that the public actually stops seeing the actor that's playing them, which can make it hard for an actor to leave such a character behind and move on, which I think happened to Paul with Ted Bovis really. Although I bet he wished he had a pound for every time someone had called out Hardy High or greeted him in the street as Ted even decades after the show had ended. But yeah, Hot Potters, this is Paul Shane's grave and he's buried here together with his mother-in-law and wife of 40 years, Dorothy, or Dora, as she was affectionately known. He sadly passed away in 2001, aged 58 years, with Paul himself passing away on the 16th of May 2013, at an hospice in Rotherham, aged 72. Now, there's nothing on Paul's grave today, or gravestone, that is RDI-related, or even indicates that he was an actor, as the inscription simply reads, Treasured memories of Harvey Short, 29th of the 5th, 1915, to the 20th of the 2nd, 2001. Also, Dorothy Ann Spate, Doris Yane, 28th of the 2nd, 1943, to the 4th of the 4th, 2001. And George Frederick Spade, Paul Shane, 19th of the 5th, 1940, to the 16th of the 5th, 2013. Loving parents and grandparents. With the inscription partially hidden by the floral tributes at the bottom of the headstone, just above the plinth floor, reading, As long as we have memories, as long as we have tears, you will never be forgotten, not in a million years. So rest in peace, Shaney old lad. You've made millions laugh, not just in RDI, but other sitcoms and dramas that you've stirred in over the years, and you'll never be forgotten. Right then, folks, I think I'm uh, going to get away from this window and uh, wrap this one up, I think. OK, folks, well, sadly, that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you've enjoyed this video, taking a look at the final resting place and paying our respects to the late actor, Paul Shane, a.k.a. George Frederick Spate. As I said earlier in this video, he truly threw himself into the role of Ted Bovis, so much so that he could never really escape it. But he certainly brought a smile to my face as a young Mr H, and I'm sure he brought a smile to many other people out there who's watching this video. Anyway, that'll do it. I'm going to make my way out of this cemetery now, meet up with Mrs H and little Toby James, and go and visit the in-laws. So all that's left for me to say is, until the next time, from myself, Mr H, it is... Bye-bye for now. Hi, hi, hi.